welcome to Couch Pilots, all of my friends. The show that dares to fly into the unknown territory of awful television, Pilots of the Past. My name is Jason, but won't you please call me the Black Barbizon? And across from me is my nude stand-in, Philip Restashire. Good evening, Captain. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's a pleasure to be here. I'm not, not sure I even want to ask. Well, last week Captain I, Captain Philip Restasher, what's wrong? Last week I did did the baby and stuff. Oh, I see. So it's kind of tears of joy is what's happening. <laughs> yeah, very okay. much tears of joy. Yeah, we had Kev and Steph Clark from uh, the formerly Let's Try This podcast. Love that. I miss that podcast. I seriously miss it. <clears throat> not Kev Bo Slice part, but the Stephanie part. So you missed fifty percent of the show. Fifty. Now, what if it, if let's try this was just Steph? Would that be better, or is there another co-host that would have suited her? Nope, just Steph. Just Steph only. Let's try this with Steph Clark. Yep. They announced to us an exclusive kind of here that they're. they're it was a shocker. We, we seriously, I, uh, we'll pull the curtains back. Me and Jason don't talk very much before the show about what we're going to do. It, it, it's a proven fact. It's proven um, time and time again. And uh, Kevin and Stephanie pulled a fast one on us, and they did the, they did the same thing, and they shocked the world. Oh, you know, it's just like when Kobe Bryant mm-hmm. shocked the world. What, what year was that with those uh, finals? They were so great. I, it, there's been so many finals. I don't remember. Which he's, state he's been it was. a part of so many, and been the MVP as far as I'm concerned for so many more. Um, 2012, 2012, or two. great two, great well, year. I for think the 2002. Finals. I don't know. I don't have my glasses on. Zeros and ones often are mistaken for Thank each other. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got emotional. I kind of ruined your intro. Uh, but oh yeah, you it's, definitely ruined it. It's, um, it's 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 just important. It was it was very important to me. Very emotional. I'm still thinking about it. Actually, for the last seven days, I've thought about it. Yeah. Like it, name. I thought about names. I thought about where I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take him to kindergarten and stuff. Well, what do you think your level of involvement with this child's life is going to be? <laughs> I think about. 0.3%. Okay. And you think that'll garner you name rights and the first day of school rights? <laughs> yes. Those are the, those, I think so. Those are the 3% I that you're... So. Uh, you got to be ready. you got to be prepared. That's when, true. When a baby comes, you're never prepared enough, right? But I've had two babies, And right? they're, they're both still alive. Yeah. And, and they're I, not babies anymore. No, they're not babies. Do you say baby? I say babies, too. I say babies, too. The sequel. Um, this It makes sense, though, uh, because a couple of weeks ago, Kevin said... Hey, Steph and I are going to come on the show on this date, and I was like, "Oh, um, okay, that's cool." We'll Which lo- because we love Kevin, to have you back on. Yeah, Kevin never knows his schedule. Yeah, so he, they very purposely scheduled a flight with us using their frequent flyer points and frequent. Flyer family points. Of course, it's part of the family plan, which is growing now exponentially. Um, which it begs the question: uh, Can a baby is a baby a multiplier? You know what? Um, I think it's up to the fans. It's up to the listeners. Do we add Baby Clark? Without, with, because a lot of times when you have a, a program like the Frequent Flyer program and you want to add somebody, you're going to lose some points. I mean, there's going to be a fee, right. a Frequent Flyer fee. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's up to the fans. Uh, if you think that the Clarks should lose some points for their Frequent Flyer plan, um, hashtag... You say Baby too. And if you think that there should be no penalty and they should get the frequent flyer plans, you should say hashtag. Uh, no baby for you. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, so a very exciting episode last week. Um, it's always great when we have guests here. And obviously, whenever we have guests, I love to have two at a time. And and that, no, I want two at a time. You no, want- no, I want one at a time. That's right. I want one at a time. Mm-hmm. And so last week... If it wasn't for the big announcement, right. the big reveal, mm-hmm. um, I would have been livid. Right. I would have said something. Because on, there would have been two. You, you would have saw something, and then I you would have said something. I can't handle two people in this cockpit with the two of and us. And essentially, there was three with a, with a new little baby in there. Just blew my mind. I didn't even think about that. Back at the Holy marathon, crap. we had two people here. Great. No, you know? not great. Uh, back at the uh, 100th episode, and even the 99th episode. Do you know what two you, two people at a time? Fantastic. Do you know what the loneliest number is? Juan, and that's what I like as in guests. Okay, well, guess what? You you have Juan guests today. Ooh, a Spanish person. Why don't you introduce him? Me? That's not my job. I don't get it up. I do everything in the middle. Yeah, and then you. Yeah. Bring it down. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Um, Introduce him. This guy has frequent flyer points out the yin yang. He hates the Lakers from 2002, right? Uh, he has watched a cowboy cartoon with us, right? Or no? Saddle rash. And he has watched uh, an episode from Adult Swim and regarding Bag to- Boy. Yes. And probably one of my favorite guests. That I know that I got I got to keep I got to keep it together. He watched another one too. What? The seventies uh, Mudman episode. Oh, this <clears throat> is this a is this a four timer? Yeah, five timer. He says he says four times. So, so he you, gave me a, he said five and then he went to four. Oh, so, now he's saying eight. <laughs> Let's welcome <laughs> to the show Juan <laughs> oh, Juan Valdez. Frequent flyer, Matt. Welcome to the show. Thanks again for having me. No, thank you. Yeah, a lot of fun. Stick coffee. All the all the most downloaded episodes have been from you, so that's why we just one point of clarification. I don't discriminate against the Lakers. Two thousand two, two thousand twelve. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Which is it? Is this any Lakers? Any Lakers? Can I say? Yeah, but can I say it without offending anybody? The Minnesota Lakers. No, let me say it without offending anybody. Fuck the Lakers. (laughs) We should segue right out of that. Okay. <laughs> well, that's what he that's what he wanted to say but won't say it. So I said it for him. Blake is my is my spirit animal. What, what, what kind of animal do you think he is? <laughs> yeah, Matt, what kind of animal am I? I I see Blake and I see a beautiful human being. Let's I'm, hear that noise again. See if I can spot it. Do, do the do the No, oh, Clayton, the call, oh, I thought you meant the the Clayton the, call. No, no, the one you just did. <laughs> That's some kind of dying... It's a jackalope? <laughs> some kind of dying animal. Dying jackalope. <laughs> you know what? Diane I'm... jackalope. <laughs> you know what? I knew it. It's Diane jackalope. <laughs> you know what? If you look at me, you look at yourself, and you say, Diane jackalope. <laughs> oh, we are. Uh, we need to charge this, because we are very early into the show, and this tablet is uh, what I need to survive. Is that going to... That's all it goes. Oh, that means I'm, gonna, I'm in charge of the tablet. Oh, well, no. well, here, I'm going to come get the cord. You talk for a little bit. Um, Matt, you are probably one of the fan favorites of this show. That's kind. Um, you've been with us through thick and thin. One of the early shows where we talked about a guy, uh, a, a monster from the swamp. A mud man. A mud man. And uh, you really set the precedence hmm. for all. Was he your first guest? I do believe you might have been our first guest. It, believe it or not, I think. Jason's brother might have been sitting right that behind me. That doesn't count. Okay. That doesn't count. You were the first person to have your um, seatbelt on in the cockpit. And so you've set a precedence over these 135, 140 episodes. That's right. And you're back for a fifth time? Fourth or fifth time. Yeah. Amazing. We're up there. I don't yeah. like anybody enough to have them on the show that many times. So congratulations. Um, what have you been up to? I know you, you you bought a house last time you were here. You bet. You've probably been sinking money into that money pit of no, yours. No, no kidding. And, and and does it look like the Taj Mahal now? Well, I don't know if Taj Mahal's right, but we're getting we're on our way there. Now, I and talked so to you just, a year ago, mm-hmm. and you said, we're getting there. We're on our way. We're getting Boy, there. Boy, that, that last 2% is a real grind. I'll tell you that much. Uh, financially or just effort-wise? All of the above. All of the above. Um. When will we be able to bring, you know, just land the plane right in your backyard and, and like, you know, kind of hang out? You're going to want to go for the side yard. That's where all the space is at. Uh, Back, the backyard, yard. I think some wings are coming off. Really? Mm. So we're, we're, we're going to land in the side yard. Yeah. Um, what can we expect when we land? Well, I'd, I would steer clear. Well, side yard, side yard, side yard. Sure, but there's a creek. Kind of like side there's, gonna, there's a creek that's going to happen on you very quickly. So I would. <laughs> so Jason is going to have to really. Slam yeah. On how good brakes. are the brakes on this plane? <laughs> Amazing. They're Trump brakes. So you guys really put some. You don't want to skimp on brakes. No, on a plane. Never, never skimp on brakes. Mm-mm. Whether you have a car, a plane, or an ATV, never yeah. skimp on brakes. Because really, you're going to have about I don't know a quarter of an acre to land this thing, and that's oh, that's uh, plenty of room. Really, I, I've seen this guy. Whoa, I've seen this guy land it on a half acre, so we're fine. Wow. I bring it down. You're fine. We have, we have a, don't we have a voicemail? <laughs> <laughs> Thumb drink. That's did, a podcast foul. Did, did anybody see how I saved it? 
Nobody said anything about how I saved it. All they were like, <laughs> that is how I sound. Um, Jason, <laughs> you've known Matt longer than I have, right? I think oh, just about the much. same amount of time. Really? <laughs> I'm trying well, to. I, I met him in the 90s. Oh, I the love 1990s, the 90s. I should say. Um, what does it mean to you to have him sitting in the cock pilot cock <laughs> cockpit with us? <clears throat> We're getting deep. I mean, it's it's the the novelty's worn off by now, right? Okay, <laughs> uh, that's fine. That's fine. I'm all about novelty. What? At, at this point, it's more of um, getting like just kind of uh, priming him to do his own uh, oh. podcast. Yeah. Now we have talked about this podcast for about a year and yeah, a half. It's now, really, right? really back when FCF Fakakta Comedy Funhouse was an actual thing, and now it's debunked. Is that, is that is it debunked? Well, now was there a myth? It's FCF. Yeah, the, the myth of the part of the. Uh, I digress. Is... <laughs> <laughs> he does. He does digress on occasion. Um, I, I don't even know. Do, do I want to? Do I want to even ask you about what, what the progress is on that show or where you are with it? If it's something that you still are. No, don't even about? waste your time. It's fine. Okay. We we have the show art. That's all that matters. No, oh, the show art was we good. We can run with that. Yeah. It's been downloaded more times than our episodes. <laughs> <laughs> People just want that show art. I had a friend oh. tell me that the picture was putting him into some kind of trance. <laughs> so, you know, you just see, put that out there. You, you don't, don't gotta miss ride that. that. Yeah, got to yeah, ride the wave. Opportunity. Mm-hmm. You got to uh, jump on that. We man. have mm-hmm. never, we have never put anybody in a trance except <laughs> no phony podcast network. And we've squandered all sorts of opportunities. <laughs> so. Speaking of opportunities. So I'm talking to the right guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah if, you, I mean, if, you're, if you are eyeballing mediocrity, then uh, oh, hey, welcome aboard. <laughs> we're like the Maharaja oh, of <laughs> mediocrity. Yeah. Uh, let's, you want to do some fan feedback? Let's do it. I don't yeah, care what you let's say. Lori Garcia, <laughs> let me hear what you have to say right about now. Right about now. Funk Soul Brother. Mushy Mushy, Blake and Jason. This is Lori Garcia, also known as First Lady of Air Force One. Um, I know I really sound like the sketch from Saturday Night Live of the Californians, because California people always enunciate every other word. And we go to the Barcadera, we got a Frappuccino. That's how we talk. Anyways, I would like to say that you guys are doing a great job with the show. I really enjoy your, the laid-back banter. It's really like Abbott and Costello, except one of you guys is a registered sex offender, and the other one's a man that's twice divorced and lives in a van down by the river. <laughs> Anyhow, um, who? all those sexual harassing phone calls, uh, dick pics, and hidden Illuminati messages I've been seeing on social media, Jason... That has encouraged me to call in a promote for uh, the new Couch Con, um, mm. which is going to be held at Madison Fucking Square Garden. Hell yeah. Where Dee Dee and I will be wrestling each other for the money in a bank match. And I'm going to grab that briefcase because when I get that briefcase, I'm going to be cashing it in to fight Vince McMahon because of his bitch wife, Linda McMahon, for help getting Donald Trump to be in our office where he hired two escorts from Russia and had golden showers. So Sorry, fun Matt. time, <laughs> you know, about 30% of people can relate to Donald Trump what because those on? people are into pain. Just a little fact. Anyhow. Uh, so oh. Didi, I do accept your challenge in comic con. I will be wrestling you. Couch so con. my promo is, you know, drink your school, flick your milk, get your eight hours of drugs. Oh, yeah, brother. Like that promo? That's right. So anyhow, um, Smoking Man and Quagmire, I'm definitely going to Couch Con, and I'm going to be wearing all black to protest for the Me Too organization. And I know, Jason, right now you are pounding your dick uh, pulling a Louis C.K. as much as uh, Don Draper likes to pound old fashioned. Anyhow, uh, I don't know when I'm going to be a special guest on your show because I always call in every once in a while for a few minutes to harass the shit out of you guys. So 
got to be a matter of time before I am an official special guest on your show. For real, real. Not for play, play. Anyhow, this is my promo. This is my testimony. Peace, bitch. Wow. <laughs> that is probably the most hardcore parkour epi- uh, voicemail we've ever had. Uh, I'm going to give her a seven. I'm going to give her a seven. Oh, are we rating these? <clears throat> Oh, this voicemail we're Blake rating. Blake does. Yeah, Blake's rating it. Um, <clears throat> she called you out. I don't like to use the word... Dick in, pick? In, in, a dick pick very often, <laughs> because it's two words. It's, you can hyphenate it. Look, I, I would say Lori Garcia is nothing short of a maniac. <laughs> she there, there is no subject that she doesn't know about. Or no. that she didn't cover right there. <laughs> or curse about. Yeah, there's no yeah. Every subject that could be conceived was covered in that phone call. <laughs> she does not discriminate on subjects. She is uh she's left nothing untethered or all, uncovered. Yeah, yeah. All uh <laughs> there, there are no loose ends. Love that girl. We know the, we, Every we stone know the was answers, unturned. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Love that girl. Um thank you very much, Lori Garcia, for the voicemail. No doubt. Um, that was great. I, I I'm interested if you can forward those dick pics. <laughs> From Jason, I'd be glad to see him. Yeah, she's got a whole bevy of them, I'm sure. Um, this is interesting because you know we're still months out from uh, from CouchCon October. E- yeah, October, and um, we've already announced the first round of activities, which was a Maid Mary Ann strip stripper pole. Kind of like, kind of like an athletic uh, exercise class. Yeah, kind of, you, have you heard of this, Matt? Women uh, doing like strip, te- strip, pole, stripper pole, like uh, athletics uh, for exercise. I met one. Yeah, I knew a girl who was doing that. Yeah, well, yeah. we have someone doing I it. I knew next... a girl and she liked to pole. No, 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 that's all right. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> just, just forget it. <laughs> Here's the thing, Matt. Would you agree? Fuck him. <laughs> I'm undecided. Yeah. Right now, right and now, that's Matt, his freedom. Right, Matt, right now, Matt's like. <laughs> The 2002 Lakers is sitting to my left. <laughs> and then now we've got, uh, we, we kind of posited a few episodes ago that Dee Dee and, uh, from Australia, uh, representing the Southern Hemisphere, and Laurie Garcia representing the Northern Hemisphere, would come together for a clash of the super fans. With uh, banana pudding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And DSJ, uh, we talked to him this afternoon, because we, we, we heard this voicemail, and he will be refereeing the match. Yep, he's going to be refereeing the match. Mm-hmm. Um Folks, get your tickets now. Um, they're only on sale till. Well, uh, originally we had X amount of tickets that sold out between Christmas and New Year's Eve. Right, because that's how, every year we do it from Christmas to New Year's. Yep. But, but we've the, opened it up to such a big uh, new auditorium or uh, arena or what have you, or square gardens. Or yeah, so that now we've we've opened up some more tickets, mm-hmm. and and time is running out. Yeah, so get your tickets now. Amazon.com backslash mm-hmm. couchpots. Matt, CouchCon was such a success last mm-hmm. year. What would you like to see at a, um, a, a a convention celebrating this podcast? Oh, do you guys have a guest comedian, like maybe a we could Kevin Hart type or something like uh, that? I don't know about Kevin Hart. Well, I, not not Kevin Hart, but I would like a Kevin Bill Hart Cosby. Type. Yeah, Ke- yeah, the kid of his farewell tour. He could round <laughs> it off at our show. Oh, that is good. Write that down, would you? Bill Cosby. B i b i g g l l. Spelling's not important. Cosby. It is for me, Matt. Yeah. Because <laughs> I look at these notes tomorrow when I'm sober and I can't figure out what they say. So, so like a, a Kevin Hart type, right. like Bill Cosby. Not like Bill Cosby. Okay, perfect. That's, yeah. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. We'll, we'll the, get our people. The pudding pops and the... Yeah. Oh, maybe he could bring the, uh, the banana pudding. Oh, that would be... You know what? He could be the special guest, like, announcer. Yes. Mm. He could MC. Oh, Here well, we go! With like the, a guest MC. Right yeah. now, we got... The Dee Dees and the Lorries. <laughs> Look what we've done. <laughs> and they're going to have a match. And the rustling. He always scattered. Um, anything else, Matt, that you could think of uh, at a convention like that that you would like to see? Well, yeah, I'm always big on door prizes. I'm always like trying to time it. Like I won't go in. I'll, I'll act like I'm going towards the door, and I'll back off if just trying to read the, the doorman. A door prize. Mm-hmm. Okay. We had some giveaways at the last one. Yeah, we can do we can do some door prizes for sure. Well, I know we'll have surprise prizes present. Oh, definitely surprise prizes. Yep. You, you always want to have surprise prizes present. Yep. 
and uh, such is the case with CouchCon this year. So a lot to look forward to. I think that's probably all we should say right now. The Bill Cosby yeah, thing is not locked down. That's look, on the wish list. That's wish list. Sir. What about an artist? A, a recording artist maybe? Someone Ooh. to do a national anthem. Kind of like I really a, feel like this is like a Kevin Hart type. No, like recording. He's, he's talking about singing. Yeah, oh, I'm Kevin thinking, Hart sings. Yeah, like, like a, Coldplay. I think Coldplay would be great. What about a Coldplay type? Uh, like Leanne Rhymes Or Leanne, Leanne Rhymes type. Yeah. Leanne Rhymes could come in and sing Coldplay. Glory, Play. glory, hallelujah. <laughs> sure. She could cover Are you guys going to, does it go into Sunday morning? Are you guys going to have a service in the morning? Uh, you know what? That's one of the things that, that last year, because a lot of people left comment cards, mm-hmm. and they were like, we got up Sunday morning, we usually go to church. Got in our Sunday best. Right. They, they usually go to church. They, they, they said it would be great to have a Couch Pilots Sunday service. And and I think Leanne Rhymes kicking it off would be great. Yeah, I think we're on so, to something here. So, she, she could lead all the hymns. <clears throat> right. So maybe on Saturday night at the, the singles mixer, mm-hmm. we could have Lil Dicky, the rapper Lil Dicky. Oh, sure, yeah, Lil Dicky. And then Sunday morning at uh, at service, we could have Leanne Rhymes. Well, we'll work on that. We Obviously, they were just uh, kind yeah, of... We're just spitballing. Spitballing. Yeah. We have, there's no contract signed, but... But we will update you. I, really, Feels like I really like that Bill Cosby. Why don't you get make sure we get a hold of him? Bill Cosby. Cosby. Mm-hmm. Cosby. He's the Kevin Hart Cos- type. Cosplay. <laughs> no, no, Cosby. He had that show in the 80s. I love the 80s. And I love... I loved all the fan feedback we had today. Can I have that? Where's that cord? Oh, you gave it to me. It's been right here the whole I time. I gave it to you the whole time ago. My lord. Matt, I'm sorry. You would think after 140 episodes, this guy would know what's going on. But uh, when he tells me to unmute it, I will unmute it. Ladies and gentlemen, the captains have turned on the fastened seatbelts. Something has happened. What's happened? Uh, the volume level or something. Why do you have it next to a chair? Why do you have a speaker next to, like a little CB next to uh, on a chair next to you? You gave me a cord. It's very short. That's as far as it'll go. But doesn't... Oh, because of... A power uh, cord. Okay. My fault. I'm doing what I can. Oops. My bad. I, ha- I had to rig this whole thing. Fuck the Lakers, right? <clears throat> Famous movie monologue. Um, forget it. Hey, what uh, what is this show about? Uh, Couch Pilots. Um, Matt. Uh, this is all It's Matt. about Matt? No, no, no. He's, he's only been here... For, we've done like 120, 30 episodes. No, he's only been a part of I uh, between seen, four and eight of them. I have not seen anywhere anybody wear structure t-shirts. I dug this up. Or Mepper This has got like... So, oh, my God. Yeah, that he, is a structure, bro. 14 yeah. years so old, he, man. He needs, to, he needs to tell us what Couch Pilots is. All right. All right. It is a show that captures... Uh, it, only one episode. It can't not have had more than one episode. You don't have to give us the criteria necessarily. Oh, is that what we're not asking we're for? Just, we're just, in general, what's the show about? Oh, well, you guys are going back and forth, breaking down terrible television pilots of the past. I think I just ripped that right off the... No, do, it, do it the right way. Television. I, pilots of the past. Pilots of the past. <laughs> well, you guys are going into uncharted territory. That Thank I don't, you. I like, think the last... You know, episode what seven people rated it or something like oh, that. Oh, seventeen. We've been down that road before. Four yeah. people, just no one has heard of it. No, no one's one. reviewed it. There was a baby announcement on the last one. It yeah. got it got seventeen hundred downloads. Yeah, we are yeah. we are in some uncharted territory for sure. If anything, these producers and you know creative, you know the writers and all that. They owe you something for bringing these things back to life, and for those absolutely, that- we we are shining lights in places on the internet that should not have light shown upon them, and uh, that's what this like show is. Like there's butt holes. Now that come, or could these be the the buttholes, anuses of their careers, <laughs> of whose career? <laughs> Blue Sky do you can too, or maybe the. You know, the producers and the creators and the... Don't say anus on this show. Anus. Don't say anus on this show. Okay? Matt, say taint. No, don't say taint. Don't say <laughs> anus. Don't say butthole. Is it bad into the mic? There, there's words you don't say into a mic. Is that I, I always say taint into the mic. Yeah, and I never appreciate it. This We're, we're trying to have a, a successful program here. We don't need to talk about orifices. If it's and, been 140 uh, episodes, why are we trying? Why are we trying to be successful now? Yeah, because what we're doing isn't working. You like, want to exhaust all the words that you can. Hermaphrodite. We do have a lot of words in this English language. Why not utilize them, right? Tim mm. Borgia, buddy. Why don't you just squeeze that lemon so we can get this thing It's going. a lime. <laughs> Today, we discussed the pilot episode of Twisters. 
from the year of our Lord, 1900 plus 64. 1964? That can't be right. No. Is that? That's not I, right. Mine said 82. Yeah, mine said 82 as well. Yeah. That 64 would be in black and white. 1982 is probably what it was. You must have done a typo, baby. 1982, great year. 1982. Darn straight. I was a mere seven years old. I was just a young tyke, still pulling my socks up as far as I'll go. 1982, I was one years old in 1982. Oh, you was you was one year old. Matt, how old were you? That would make me zero. Zero. I wasn't I was on the scene, but But to me, you were still the hero. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. What what a what a Thanks, great buddy. compliment. <laughs> Thanks, guy. <laughs> Is that the baggage boy? The baggage boy with a He's red nose. The, yeah, He's the, had too much alcohol. Red nose going on. Oh boy, nineteen eighty two. Um, you know, we set our respective ages. They're great for certain are you gonna eat during the show? God damn it. <laughs> They're supposed to be stopping him. I'd like to think that there was a time when we thought there is there's a quality program hidden in this idea somewhere. Oh, this is a quality program. There is something we can do that people would gravitate towards. They gravitate towards? It that, smells like a Happy Meal down here. <laughs> that, ti- that time is gone. The time is now. <sighs> 1982. I lived in that year. Uh, Matt, were, were you? Did you live in that year? I did. I did. I was. I came early on, you, January you, of. Rat boy, fuck. <laughs> what <are> you? <laughs> I just... Are you enjoying your meal? <laughs> Go ahead. Guys. Are you enjoying your meal? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Is this the way you choose to live? <laughs> January of '82 is when I showed up. On we're the trying to have a civilization. January what? Seventeen. Yeah, and his she, wife was born the next day. She was really? born the day before. The day before. <laughs> Best friends, huh? <laughs> yeah, one day off. Six, 16. Yeah. Great. That's You guys You guys slid in right there at the new part of the year. We really do. Yeah. We try to get, we try to bundle the holidays. Do you guys as get, much. do you guys like celebrate January like the whole month? Because you have New Year's Eve. Yeah. And then you have your birthday. And then after, we have Martin after, Luther King Day. After after her birthday. Then you have your birthday. And then Martin Luther King Day. And then, you and then Groundhog Can Day. you imagine all the time off that we have? And then you prepare for February, which is Black History Month. Mm-hmm. What do I do with that? Give me that drink that you have there. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> I'd take the chicken sandwich. Yeah. Give me, <laughs> give me that fermented chicken sandwich you're gnawed on. Uh, oh boy, um, 1982. <laughs> Although I lived it, I, you, there's no real memories formed at the age of one. And, and Matt, being a gelatinous fetus, there's probably no memories that he has either. Now, Blake, you may have some recollection of that time, but for most people, we have to go back in time in, in our, our minds. minds. Mouthful of food. <laughs> <laughs> If you wouldn't have said anything, I would add it perfect. That's funny because you are uh, chowing down on it. It's just it's it's bread, chicken, and mustard, right? Yeah, yeah, that's your that's my, your jam. My wife knows me. <laughs> I was I'm so sorry, in- guys. It's either that or pass out halfway through this, <laughs> right? I can't yeah, pick your poison. All right. <laughs> right. <laughs> um. Let's see. Michael Jackson's Thriller was released that year. A groundbreaking album, Thriller, was released during November. The King of Pop's nine-song album was produced by legendary musician Quincy Jones and was Jackson's sixth studio album that featured hit songs like Billie Jean. Now, you guys were way too young to remember, but I remember <clears throat> sitting in front of the TV on MTV to watch the premiere. Like, I saw this happen for the first time. Hmm. The premiere of what? The video Thriller. Okay, this is just saying the album in general, but you're, but that but Thriller the uh, show music video for that was yeah. quite a production. Oh, it was huge! It was a huge production. It was a big deal. Like <clears throat> they talked about it all the time. You know, it was a big deal. And actually, that year, the Thriller came out in what month? November of eighty two. In eighty three, my birthday was in March. I. Had a had a, a costume party for my oh, yes. the only birthday party I've ever had, 
and I was Michael Jackson. I feel like I was <clears throat> just at a birthday party that you had. Well, <laughs> as a child. And, um, Actually, I, I come to think of it, I've been to many birthday parties. <laughs> when I was a child, this was the only birthday party I ever oh, had. Okay. And my mom could not get my hair to have that curl in the front. Sure. So she curled it and then scotch taped it to my forehead. And I was Michael Jackson. Like moms do. I remember that you had the Michael Jackson outfit. That's, that's great. Remember that? You're very resourceful. Yeah, uh, you, I told that story before. It's a wonderful story. I'm sorry. So I'm repeat. I'm repeating myself. So no, you probably told it like two years ago, but I remember it's a great no. story. High five that shit. One. Well, yeah. Thank you for keeping yeah. the human high five counter. <laughs> um, it had uh, human nature. Pyt want to be starting something in the eponymous thriller. It was also known for the 14 minute long horror theme music video with memorable choreography. That took MTV by storm. <laughs> Since its release, it has become the number one uh, of the highest selling albums. It was a great album. Time. It was there, there's not one song of the album that's not good. It is a near. It, it is maybe a perfect album. Michael Jackson. Normally, you see like ten songs. He said, "You know what? I can't give I, this is. If I put a tenth song on here, it won't be perfect. That, how it is right now, it's right. it's pure as the driven snow. Mm-hmm. Right. Um." Did you ever see the uh, thriller video all the way through, Matt? It's been a long time if I have, but I the can original, picture... The uncut version. Mm-hmm. That's well, I don't know about that, but yes, I can picture it. Like they said here, it's a 14-minute version. Uh, there's a, a prologue and a post-log. I don't know if that's a pre-log and a post-log. I don't know. Um, of them getting ready to go to the theater, the dancing in the streets, the, the kind of the breakdown where it's an extended dance and then at the end there's some like more. a director's cut or something of that nature the original one was 14 minutes and they played it a lot all the way through on MTV hmm. um, it, it's, it very easily is the number one video of mm-hmm. all time huge production value uh, directed by John Landis who did the um, Werewolf in London um, film and uh, Michael Jackson just loved horror films so he's like I want, I want to get a guy who does horror films who, to is, direct who is the guy that did The Voice that was Vincent Price thank you high five that shit that was a horror legend as well. And then it, it was such a success that they had a, like a half hour, or at least a half hour, making of. Do you remember this? The making of thriller where they showed all the people getting in the costumes for the zombie dancing thing? It t- I remember that. It was cool to watch that. What, is, um, what, do, you, what do you hope to get accomplished here? <laughs> I hope to get fed. Yeah. Is it bothering you? You know what? I haven't eaten. Do you see me shoving my fucking face? Now I feel face? like an asshole. <laughs> now I feel like an asshole. Matt, I'm sorry. Well, you didn't even offer us any french fries. You think I don't like dipping sauce? Do you want some french fries? I love dipping sauce. I don't have any dipping sauce. I don't like it. You want some fries? I can't. You can't? You know, are I, you on a diet? He, he yeah. just are you won't. On, are, you yeah. on, are you on a structure diet? Mm-hmm. They don't serve those as structure. <laughs> right. Uh, 1982... Uh, the United States AT and T ordered to break up. The breakup of the AT and T monopoly was ordered during the during January of eighty two. So in the month you were born, Matt, mm-hmm. the United States government says two two big things are happening here. AT and T is a monopoly. We need to break it apart. And then uh, this boy is born. They couldn't. We couldn't have both. Uh, the U.S. government deal with AT and T corporations say that AT and T would give up control of the Bell system, colloquial called Ma Bell. I don't know if you guys ever heard that term before, Ma Bell. It's a pretty popular term. Um, that had owned uh, most of the telephone services in the United States and Canada since the 1940s. So it really was. This one company kind of had monopolized telephone service throughout the country, and the U.S. government stepped in and said, you know what? No monopolies. Right. When my, when my, my grandparents had stock in AT&T, and that was a huge deal to have stock in AT&T at that time because they were a mogul. Little did we know, Verizon. Sprint, T-Mobile, mm-hmm. Cricket. I think T. I think T-Mobile and Sprint might have just joined forces. Yeah, that is happening kind of as we're recording. I saw that today as well. I don't know if it's secure yet or, or what, or but it looks it looks likely. I guess. Yes. Um, what about Cricket? What about Cricket? Cricket Wireless. Yeah, who are they joining up with? I think they're a, kind of a standalone. They're a burner phone, right? That's what they do. Is that pre- what it is? Prepaid, just prepaid minutes okay. on it. The cheese stands alone, right? Um, also in 82, Tylenol capsules laced with uh, potassium cyanide. Uh, Tylenol capsules laced with potassium cyanide kill seven in Chicago, September 29th. Can you imagine going to your corner drugstore? What a way to go. Purchasing an over-the-counter medicine for your headache, minor toothache, 
and then passing away as a result. Hmm. God, what a good way to die. All right, you're looking for sweet release, aren't you? Oh, I, I would die right now if I could just die. Yeah, um, I mean, well, you're eating McDonald's, so you're on your way. <laughs> I'm getting there. Said you on your way. My mm. wife loves me. She brought me dinner. So does that make me a bad person or her? I mean, I mean your, your wife is obviously a bad person, so we'll leave it at that. Uh, Matt, why did we choose to watch Twisters? And I, I will say there is a fourth reason in there that only you know. What? So, yeah, to be clear, are you looking for the reasons these that are, we watch? These are the, the three pillars yep. of why we watch yep. every single one of these shows, and then a secret fourth one. Well, only one episode can have had happen. Makes sense to me. It has to be free. What do we look like? Uh, George W. Rockefeller? All your money is, Bob Rockefeller. is funneled towards uh, Comic-Con. Yeah, couch con. we have. We don't have any. Li- we don't have yeah, any. Uh, we're gonna go buy some comic books. And some and hopefully, con. we can flip those and fund comic or couch con once they appreciate. That's right. <laughs> and no one appreciates <laughs> comics like we do. You buy them from yourself. <laughs> Nobody does the. We we spend a lot of time thinking about how much we appreciate them, and then we flip them, yep. making pennies on a dollar. <laughs> we actually were we we we. Pitched a show. It was mm-hmm. called uh, "Flip That Comic Book." <laughs> yeah, they said that. They said oh, stop right there. I never heard anything about it. Well, there's a reason. Yeah, it didn't even make it to a pilot. And then it has to be available, like online. There, there gonna, needs to be a classically blue lake. This guy's been on available. the show seven times. Yeah. He knows what's yeah. going on. Uno dos trace. The pillars are complete. What's the secret fourth reason? <clears throat> Boy, this said. I I think what you're looking for is you. Threw it out to me to to pick one. Is yes, that it? Yeah, Am I right. there? That's I right. got it. You chose it. You specifically chose this one uh, for reasons that I think may have led you astray. Good job, Matt. Well, can I you, had a good shower cry after I figured. It can, out. can you elaborate? <laughs> what you, you look at all the links, the classically blue links that we have galvanized via the pachinko machine, mm-hmm. and you said, "Hey, this uh, I will choose this one based yeah. on the name alone." I imagine. Yeah, because it took me back to nineteen ninety six. I'd say would it be? Yeah, ninety five, ninety six. Bill Paxton and my and my mega crush Helen Hunt, four head, uh, arguably a five head. <laughs> Who's that? Bill Paxton? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a movie, guys. They were in a movie. They were in a movie called Twister. Yeah. He thought uh, just like uh, James Cameron. I think it was James Cameron. Uh, Alien and then Aliens. He thought Twister and then Twisters. Not the case at all. This is a game show. We're he talking thought it about. was. He thought it was a spinoff from the I movie. Thought, well, I thought it was a fan made spinoff. Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. And so I embraced it immediately, and I sent Jay a text. I fired off pretty quick. Cause Helen, and here we are. That, was, that wasn't when Helen Hunt looked good still. She mm-hmm. looked amazing. Yeah. but this Remember... Is, uh, Helen Hunt wasn't in this pilot. Married... Remember... Uh, married with children? Yes, I do. And no, Helen Hunt... That's Helen, not it. Helen Hunt looked adorable. Mad about you. Mad about you. Is that what you're going to say? Mad about you. That sounds right. I feel like we're beating around the, the bush. T- that was the TV show she was on. What were you going to say? With Rob Reiner. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's Rob Reiner? What about Rob Reiner? He was on Mad About You. That was was that her husband? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where can you find Mad About You or Twisters? Well, you can do so by subscribing to Couch Pilots and Apple Podcasts or your favorite <laughs> podcast app of choice. And then simply click on one of our classically blue links in our show notes or go to YouTube. Matt? And you'll know what to do, Tube. Very good. Uh, flight attendants, uh, prepare for takeoff, please. In 2018, I can't imagine a time. God damn it. Put that shit away. We're going down. Yeah, one more sandwich to go, fellas. Jeez. With cheese. Oh, do you have cheese on that one? No, she got me two McChickens. I thought it was a double cheeseburger. Now this, I'm pissed. This is what I say on McChicken. They get a uh, McChicken add tomato. Son of a bitch! What are you doing? I'm listening to your story. I feel like you're purposely holding that wrapper up to the mic to make. No, it that would be ridiculous. That's over dramatizing it. Do you think if the Clark's baby was listening to this episode, it would want to hear all that crinkly? Or crumble? when the Clark's baby yeah, listens when, to this? When? <laughs> Thank you. When the baby gets caught up on the back catalog of Couch Pilots, do you think it wants to hear that crinkly? Right. If, if you think about it, if it's born in November 
and they start playing an episode a week mm-hmm. for his him or her. Um, Assuming we're still doing this in November. <clears throat> so they'll be like two and a half mm-hmm. by the time. And so this is, they, they're probably understanding stuff right now. Hello, baby. Uncle Blake is here. Hey, baby. Eating a chicken sandwich. I think what you want to do is get some Beats by Dre, put them on your big fat uh, pregnant gut. And then here, uh, pump our voices into the baby's head. And then, um, like, Baby Einstein, play us while the baby goes to sleep every night. It just takes uh, two AAA batteries. <laughs> yeah, all you, need, all you need is two AAA batteries. <laughs> Summary of the pilot. Ten contestants competed for one whole week trying to answer questions, but they were only shown halves of the questions. Adjust it at your will. Oh, uh, my, that's that's a that. pretty that's a pretty good summary. I'll give it a a B plus. Okay. Yeah, I think this summary, short and to the point, says, "Hey, this is this is what we're dealing with here." Matt, I felt like I captured it. I, f- I thought you fell asleep there. No, I'm I'm back. I'm back. Do you want a French fry? Do you want a French fry? Here, just eat one French fry. No, Jay does. I Not the whole box. I know Jay the- does. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take some of these French fries. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, are you shove them d- down your gullet? <laughs> Matt's like, I am too good. The structure body, the structure. You body. don't get this shirt by eating French fries. <laughs> mm. Pretty good. I mean, what can you say? Fried potatoes and salt. Come on, and grease. I forgot grease. Um, interesting facts. Oh. You're up, smart guy. <coughs> Hold on. I don't want to choke on this French fry. <coughs> Conrad rule. Conrad rule is in effect. Everyone, please pay attention to the Conrad rule. Conrad rule went to dormancy for a while, but apparently he's caught up to speed on this show. Yeah, it's about damn time. About but, damn crime. Um, interesting facts is a portion of the show where you say... Hey, subscribe to Couch Pies. We give you a nice, fat, juicy link in there. It's been galvanized by the pachinko machine to be safe for you and her pleasure. You watch it, and that's only part of the picture. There's more. There's more information out there, information that we can give you that you wouldn't know just by clicking the link about this program. But the key is not to comment on these. Don't comment on these facts. Matt, have you ever sat down with your wife? You started the fireplace, Mm -hmm. right? The the, the, the little one's in bed. Uh, the the 800-pound dog is laying across the front of the living room. And, and you're listening to this episode. We do interesting facts. And you look over at your wife and say, that fact was pretty interesting. I thought this was going somewhere else entirely. Um, I'm appropriate. All right? The only thing bad I'm going to say is fuck the Lakers. Oh! <clears throat> We're letting the Lakers have it tonight. For you. Well, I appreciate it. I, I do. I it's do all for you, that. Matt. Yeah, I feel yeah. your pain, Matt. Um, I try not to. I try not to. Um, I don't know, sway her opinion if that's what you're saying. Thank like, you. yeah, Thank I try not to, but inevitably, I feel like since you're yeah, the man of the house, she's yeah, going to do what you say. We're, we're one it. being. Oh, really? That's awesome. In the uh, so, if you're one being in the biblical sense, <clears throat> so she's here right now, essentially. She's. Essentially, oh, with hello, us. Heather. <laughs> Heather, what do you think of Couch Pilots? She's gonna take a pass on that. <laughs> you know what, Heather? She would re- be the first one. I respect <laughs> you even more. Um, announcer Jack Clark also. No. Did- oh, oh, announcer. Okay, go ahead. Jack Clark was a famous baseball player for the St. Louis Cardinals, uh, and he played first base. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thanks for that. Thank you so much for that. That has nothing to that doesn't pertain to this episode. But you are really just shoving that chicken sandwich in your mouth. <laughs> Goodbye, Blake. Good God. <laughs> what do you think would happen if I brought like a grilled cheese in here sometime and I just went to town on it? I'd be pissed off that you ate during the show. You'd be I would be pissed off that you ate during this show. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just checking. <laughs> Um, the Jack Clark, he'd also announced for the $10,000 Pyramid Show and uh, early episodes of Wheel of Fortune. Fact. Fact. Jim Perry hosted, uh, the host of this show hosted other shows such as Definition and Card Sharks. 
fact. <laughs> Can I say something here? If you can say anything you want, just uh, be careful not to comment on these facts. So Blake, before the show kicked off, mercy, Blake made a comment about it being Jim Barry. Mm-hmm. I thought it was Truman's... <laughs> Truman Capote? No, no, no. That's ridiculous. The Truman Show star, Jim Carrey. Is that how he's known? And you said it was Jim Barry. So we're going to need to work this I said out. Jim, no, he said Jim Barry. I say Jim Perry. Like Joe Perry or Steve Perry. And I heard Jim Carrey. It's Jim Perry with a P like Paul. Okay? <laughs> Jim Perry. Gee, God, this we man, lost him. He is a nothing short of a living nightmare. <laughs> um... Jim Perry, okay? A simple Google would give you that information. I we don't can know why. agree to disagree. <laughs> That'll be fine. There's music on this show. The theme had originally been used for uh, sh- on Shoot for the Stars and would later be used on the 1985 and 1980 versions of Jackpot. Um, another piece of music used here was Shuffleboard Q, uh, Through Train by uh, Bob Colbert, previously used on Chain Reaction Remixed from Super Train. That sounds like a terrifying game show. Super Train? Sounds like one everybody, not everyone makes it out of. Yeah, it sounds like an Amtrak disaster. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, uh, Here's another piece of music. Contestant Switch. Um, The music there was Honky Tonk Humor Number 2 by Henrik Nielsen. Uh, The song was also used as a theme song on another failed Bob Stewart pilot called IQ. I being like your eyeball. Mm. Now there's another terrifying vision from the past, huh? IQ hosted by a cyclops, perhaps it will. I, I, unless we find that link, we will never know. And even then, <laughs> Twitter responses. Twitter response. I'm sorry, is your mouth full of food? No, and neither is my bladder. Twitter responses. Twitter responses. I'm pretty sure Jason got some Twitter responses. Bladder full of food. There's a time and a place for subtlety. This is not that time, and my basement is definitely not that place. Join me, Blake Clayton, every Friday for the Broken Funny Bone Podcast, a show that exists solely as a conduit to subject my friends, various guests, and anyone who dares to listen to my unending and incurable insanity. We'll play games, sing songs, run jokes into the ground, navigate my personal foibles, and fist fight to the death every week. What more? tough shit. Go somewhere else. We are the world's leading authority on poo-poo and pee-pee jokes, and we know it. That said, if you're looking for a good time, throw out your little black book of ex-lovers that you are too fat to get with now, and subscribe to Broken Funny Bone Podcast wherever podcasts are available, and in your grocer's freezer. It's okay to laugh. We won't tell. That was your voice we heard. Yep. It sure was. was. Pre- it was pre-recorded. Your voice. Thank God it was pre-recorded because I just dropped seven pounds of ice on. Is it any when you have a full on, meal on the on, on, during panel. the show? Is that any surprise? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, that's what we do when we do with the voodoo. Do you think maybe that's maybe that's what we've been talking about the future of Broken Funny Bone and how you like that show to kind of evolve and what do, maybe maybe we just eat food during the whole show. You know what? That might be a good idea. It couldn't I, hurt, right? It, it couldn't hurt, but it's very rare that uh, the stewardess brings me uh, a meal. But if we plan it out ahead of time, then everyone who comes on the show, we just bring a meal, and then we just eat and talk. What would we call that show? A broken Funny Bone. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Yeah, I don't have to or change bro- the RSS feed or anything. Broken Hungry Bone? You know, let's just leave it at Broken Funny Bone. I agree. Uh, hey guys, uh, let's break down the pilot of Twisters. What do you say? Twisters. Let's do it. This is a game show, folks. I'm super excited. Uh, it has been a while since we did a game show. It really has. We've only done a couple. <clears throat> and I've loved every one of them. Spoiler alert. Oh boy, I appear into this future here. Which television game has 10 players? You're number two. <laughs> and shows only one half of the question. 
for ten thousand dollars in a brand new car the answer is twisters 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 is right and here's your host jim perry he is dead i'm sorry but we are we are alive and we're gonna break down the pilot so jim perry like is famous for a bunch of different he'll hosting a bunch of different game shows you know as i look through his imdb page nothing really stood out besides card sharks Okay. Um, but I think he, his career was in hosting television game shows, none of which had a crazy amount of success. Right, because if you go on YouTube, you know, and good. you know what to do, too, uh, if you type in Jim Perry Tribute, like 17 videos come up of different game shows. Yeah, that, was, that was his niche. Yeah. That was his thing. Um, this is what I noticed. First of all, what we just said in unison was um, what happened on the screen. We saw the contestants in a big, bright, bold set um, take turns shouting out how the game works in, in, in three sentences or so. God damn it! What are you doing? What kind of what kind of show is this? <laughs> uh, I would ask you to focus, but it would be a fool's errand, right? <laughs> Matt looked at me in such disappointment. Okay. <laughs> How many times are you going to get up to leave your own show? <laughs> as many times as it takes. Jim uh, Jim Perry is the host. He introduces, he says, uh, these contestants here, there's 10 of them, and they play all week long. You can win $10,000 in a car. Yeah, at the beginning of this. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with me first. I'll take it. Man, I feel bad about just like eating in my car sometimes, let alone on a show that'd be recorded for prosperity. No, Some... but he explain. He starts to explain the rules, and he goes so fast, and it, you're overwhelmed by the the yellow and red of the set. And he's starting to explain the rules that I actually got lost in the fact of the rules. I got lost in the rules right off the bat. There was a lot of rules up front, and like the game was the game kept a, a fairly quick pace throughout the show. Where it, I, yeah, it, there was a lot yeah. of rule confusion. He's like, I and thought. then they do this, and then they do this, and they do, and and for somebody who's never seen it before, you're like, uh, uh. Okay. First, okay. first few things I wrote down were basically someone needs to very slowly go through the rules, <laughs> right? Because here's what I had: ten thousand dollars, new car, forty down to zero. Another ten thousand dollars, instant win, lightning round, and yeah. then they play some kind of shuffleboard. So yeah, <laughs> right. That that that's the same way I was. And uh, uh, if it for Kevin, who has already watched this, like you will figure it out as they go along. But initially, it's it's a lot to take in. So you got this big bright. It's like red, orange, and yellow set. You have uh, nine spots, kind of in an arc. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with a person standing behind each number. You have uh, a tenth person at standing the bo- at the bottom with the host. At right? the bottom, mm-hmm. there is a car, like logo. Uh, it's like a triangle. Mm-hmm. And in the middle of the bottom of the triangle, it says car. And there's like, they're, they're at, it's like a, a shuffleboard table that points right into that big arc where all the contestants are. And at the other end, you got one contestant that they drew by random before the show started. Right. They throw the shuffleboard down or the the disc or whatever it is. Hockey puck. It lands on a number, and then the person who's associated with that number um, has to decide on a question or half of a question that will be asked to the person who did the shuffleboard. Meanwhile, the number 40 is at the end of the shuffleboard. And every time, every number that they um, they land on after throwing the, the puck down was is subtracted from that. Number. Right, there's so, a lot of things in mm-hmm, play yeah. here. So there's a lot of moving parts here. If you have forty points at the beginning, which everybody does, and let's say you throw the hockey puck and it bounces around and you get uh, a seven, that means you have thirty-seven points if you get the question right. That, okay, that means you thirty-three points, right? Forty down to thirty-three. Yes, that's okay. what I meant to say was. 33. <laughs> but they still had to get it right. And then there was still the... It was only... You only got the 33 if you got... You only got the seven points if you got it right. Right. But then there's still the piece of it where the second digit, if your <laughs> disc landed on the number, which was the second digit, then you had a shot at the car. <laughs> you had like no. an instant win. Yeah. No, it was instant win. Oh, it was an instant it, win. It wasn't the car, but... Okay, look. Let me break it down for you. Um, <clears throat> let's say... Okay, you started off with 40 points. Okay, 
and you you let's say you end up with uh, 35 points and then you throw the hockey puck and it bounces around and you get a five then you go for the instant win which is worth a thousand dollars and so the person who has is num- in the number five position comes down and you have to answer both of you have to answer a question this right. is the time where you have to work together with that person so happy together I already know what it I'm talking about during turbulence. I'll tell you that. Okay, much. I'll All tell right. you that much. All well, right. I'll kind of break down what happened here. They, the first person, Mimi, she shoots the puck. It lands on a six. It's for Craig, and then they, the host says to Craig, "Here's two half of questions. You choose which half of which question that you want me to finish asking Mimi. Then, and you and Craig, you want Mimi to get it wrong so you can come down to the shuffleboard, right. and it'll be your turn to do that. So the first question." Is chosen and it says um, what occupation was uh, what was the occupation dot 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 and then of Annie Hall right which is a uh, famous Woody Allen film and then the person guessed it correct it says it's a singer right um, but uh, what you need to notice is Mimi is not wearing a bra on this either she's not wearing a bra or she has the pointiest little boobs that are halfway down her 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 stomach. Even Molly, the stewardess, said, is she wearing a bra? And I go, I actually wrote that. Is she wearing a bra? I did not. I was too busy trying to make notes instead of looking at people's breasts. You were trying to make notes of the rules. Am I right, Matt? I was really caught up in the rules. Yes, I hear. You know what? And I knew that about you. Well, this, and I know we're going to hit something here, Blake. The next one, uh, Mimi shoots, she shoots down the, the puck, and she gets a four, and she lands on D, and the, the question is, which Australian seaport is is being portrayed by something? And the answer is Sydney. D, Australia. D, D, Couch Pilots fan. High five it. Three. Also, um, when she did that, that was an instant win, which was a red space. I just wrote a lot of rules. There was, there was a four. I thought she... They were still explaining the rules at this point. Like they had yeah, already. They're five st- minutes into it, and they're still <clears throat> and they, explaining. And, and the rules. they're still like they've already started the game, but it's like playing shoots and ladders with a kindergartner, and then like you explain the rules, and then as you go, you just add rules. Mm-hmm. So basically, what you're doing is just cycling people in and out if they get things wrong or right, or if they land on the the correct number for an instant win. And there are different times when they have to work together. Spoiler alert: Dee Dee is the worst player ever. Dee Dee's pretty rough. She is rough, and they keep bringing her back to us. She never goes away. Yep, they're bringing Dee Dee back. <laughs> that was funny. They um, bringing sexy back, you know, Justin Timberlake. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they, uh, so the, uh, I don't know if you noticed this. The first commercial break that they did, you had a split second where you saw Elvira. Did you see that? I missed that part. Elvira's, and that was the show we did like a year and a half ago. Oh, wow. I had to pause it. it. Says Raise the Dead. Featuring Elvira. Oh, you saw that? I, I did. didn't see what it was. I, I just saw Elvira. It. I had to go back a few times. I missed it completely. That. Elvira had a pilot TV show, which was awful, uh, and we watched that about a year and a half ago. Something I feel great. like that was pretty pretty late into the show, though. That was like twenty some minutes into it. I think that was, it was the first commercial, actually. Then I missed it the first time, but I caught something the second okay. time. Yeah. Um, well, they come back from the commercial, and they're getting to know uh, D and Joan, and they they are in it together for ten thousand dollars. And what you see is um, Joan. This, is, this will be the instant win that they're mm-hmm. trying for. Joan will see answers, and then uh, the host will give half of a question. And then after that half a question, it's up to Joan to finish that question to give the clue to D. And they have to get ten right in sixty seconds. So it's kind of a, a confusing kind of setup. Do we and, go uh, like? Did you like? Are you in a hurry? Uh, did you want to go through each individual question? No, that's fine. I just I, now that I'm I caught up with what you're doing, that's fine. Oh, we we can go through each individual. No, no, question. we don't have to. But the, um, some of the answers during this segment were like suspenders. Will you marry me? Pretty. He retires. Robert uh, De Niro. And, um, that was an individual question earlier for a raging bull answer. Oh, I'm sorry. Th- this is the rapid fire segment where they're where, okay. they're, they're, where they're working together. Yep. Uh, did you want Did you want to go through the individual questions? No. Okay. I actually wrote them all down. But, I did too. Yeah. But don't. It's fine. Um, so they, they missed it by one. They, yeah. got, they got nine out of ten. They so they get to divide uh, nineteen hundred dollars. No, they they only got to divide the one thousand dollars that they made on the instant. The nine hundred dollars that they were talking about was from getting other questions right. He actually time. trips on the rules and he has to correct himself. Oh, and I didn't catch that. Mm-hmm. And he ends up getting to nineteen hundred. What are these? The Lakers? Yeah. 
and he d- and he ends up having to divide the nineteen hundred by two. So he it did is say that. that it is that okay. But that that nineteen hundred, the, do they get a hundred dollars for each one of the questions they get right? Cause so they, they got a thousand dollars for getting there, right? And then they got nine questions right. So they got a hundred dollars a piece. Okay, that that is yep. my fault. I'm sorry. Um, another commercial break, and I didn't catch any. I, I, they, they cut they cut the commercial sloppy or whatever this was a VHS copy or whatever, but I didn't see what the commercial was for. Um, and then they said, uh, coming back from this break, so we drew a number out of a hat at the beginning of the week, and I feel like this is confusing. And like, why is there all this off camera stuff? You know what I mean? Like, right? I mean, it, it, it's it, they they acknowledge that it's Wednesday, but yet they talk about stuff that's happened for two days. They're drawing numbers, and people have already won money that we didn't see. I, I would have to assume that since this was the only one ever made, but they treat it like a week long thing, that this was just something they made as a pilot. See, to I missed that, and I wrote down knocks against the show that said, How are these guys more or less so familiar with the rules? They know how it works, all these moving pieces. They know to run to the middle. Right. They've already won money. Right. They, yeah, That's I, the only way it makes sense. They is that start, yeah, they started on Monday. Uh, they got their, they drew their straws. They've been playing, and they only aired Wednesday or whatever right. it was. Yeah. Thank you. High five that. <laughs> nope. oh. Okay. <laughs> Are you keeping track of these? How Great. many five? What number is this? <laughs> that ramped us up to eight. Oh well. <laughs> um, the rest of the show, you, you keep going back and forth with different contestants coming down, answering questions, getting them right, getting them wrong. Um, they have a handful of those instant wins. Where uh, D just keeps like she keeps getting chosen, but she keeps coming down and like not answering the question right. Yeah, she yeah. screws up every time. There's three times, three or four times that she was down there where her partner answered the first question right and she got the other one wrong. And she's like climbing on them to get the oh. answer right. Like she's grappling them. Yeah, like you wouldn't she's believe. A strong grapple. Who's the sexiest contestant? Mm, Craig. Mark. Craig was? <laughs> no. Mark? Wow. No, I'm going to say Alan. I'm going to say Alan. Alan, Alan was the Did we see Alan? Well, yeah. I don't remember Alan. How do, can you not remember Alan? He m- wasn't doing anything for me. Alan finished the whole thing off. With that dude, Mark, right? With victory. I think Cheryl. He had a Justin Cheryl Tim- was the cutest. Cheryl. Cheryl. The blonde? I don't know. It's just in my notes. <laughs> There's a lot of hot chicks, not. there. No, the Cheryl was a good-looking broad, man. He's checked her out. Um Anyway, they uh, they answer some more questions. They kind of go back and forth through the, the. I don't know. It's it's. I I know you like game shows, but to me, this was just very confusing. It was confusing for the first five minutes, but for the next twenty four minutes, I completely understood it, and I was down to clown. What it, happens when the number forty gets all, all the way to zero? Anything? So that's when they go to the table, is it? There not? there is no zero. Oh, oh! You say when they work their way down, they work their way it, down to zero. Yeah, then the last person who, let's say there's seven, there's seven points left, right? And they 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 hockey puck at eight, then they're down to zero. Then it's that person who, who chose the question, and the person comes. Yep, yep, yep. And they go to the lightning yep. round. Very easy. Yeah, very easy. <laughs> Um, the lightning round was that was that again the uh, ten correct in sixty seconds? Yes. Yeah, which is okay. absurd. That's. Crazy. That's very difficult. Yeah, it's one every crazy six seconds, hard. Right? Yeah. Um, so they did that, and some of the answers there were like a crown, sex, a jungle. Is that ASMR? Yeah, I, I, I figure this 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 show needs all the help it can get. Let's. I'm gonna hashtag ASMR in. Pretty good. the The last uh, answer that he gives was a couch. Did you catch that? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's like like this this uh, podcast here, Couch Pilots. Say, How say, about it? Say pilots, and we got ourselves an audio clip. Nope. They uh, they have a commercial after the end. There, Alan ended up with like fifty five hundred points. Mark with like sixty two hundred, maybe dollars instead of yeah. Points. I think it's yeah. dollars. And yeah. then Barb had two thousand, and then Craig had a hundred uh, one thousand eight hundred. And that's the end, right? Well, he kind of says till next. Well, they're playing throughout the week, and that's when yeah, he really but, talks about that. Yeah, so so here's the thing. So during this episode, which was taped on, obviously, Wednesday, uh, DD screws up four times mm. in the instant game. And in the speed round, the last contestants to do the speed round are Mark and Alan. They get all 10 answers within 60 seconds. So they split $10,000 plus the $1,000 that they got in the, in the to instant. To get to the lightning to round. Get, and 
Plus, I think for some reason, I think you get money for answering questions. I don't know. Uh, but basically what it says is men rule, girls drool. Do they have to keep track of their own winnings? Like, that's what it seemed like to me. It's not like Jeopardy where they <clears throat> flash their winnings up on the... Well, it, it, it's for a whole week. So I think right after the commercial break, I, during the commercial break, that's when the producer says, you've won 500, you've won 1,000, you've won 12, and then they remember. That would make sense. Yeah. And the so, rules don't. Right. Uh, but but Jim says at the end of the show, the biggest winner of the whole week gets to come back to next week yeah. and participate. That's, that's Jeopardy style. Yeah, that's some Ken Jennings shit right there if I've ever heard it. Who? Bing bong. Ken Please Jennings, hello. As we are now crossing a zone of turbulence. Ken Jennings was the guy on Jeopardy that just kept winning. You know that name, man? Yeah, he was that. Well, he had mastered the timing, but also had to answer the question right. But yeah, did, did he cheat? Oh yeah, he was a he was a notorious cheater. Notorious. Kind of like Ray Lewis. Mm-hmm. Just like Ray Lewis, very With similar, the, very, very yeah, lot of parallels. Deer antler estrogen. I thought we would. Uh, I thought we would try to inject deer antler estrogen <laughs> into us right now, and maybe play around. Of of that uh, oh shit we're gonna actually play the game that we saw yeah we're gonna play do this yeah we're gonna play a little round right now this is um one, one of those lightning rounds hold right on here. that mule was strong hold on good lord man all right I'm ready so what happens here Matt is you are gonna see the answer uh, one at a time and I'm gonna read you the first part of a uh, question and then you have to finish the uh, question and and uh, Blake is gonna have to guess it right oh, or shit. wrong I'm involved okay. So I'm going to start the stopwatch, and you can see what the answer is right here, right? Mm-hmm. And then that's going to be the first part of the question there. I'm going to read that out loud, and you're going to finish that question, and he's going to have to guess so what we're the doing answer a, is. Are we doing, are I'm going to need this to turn just a little bit more my way. Are, there we, we, doing, go. are we doing the lightning round or the mm-hmm. instant round? I don't know. Whatever one where he has you just you just answer the question, okay. basically. Go. So I'm going to give it. On your mark, get set. Who is you? It has four. Legs and barks. Dog. It's the last... Time that the Warriors won. The, uh, last year. Monument in Philadelphia. Washington, uh, uh, Lincoln. Lincoln Monument. <laughs> Hair found <laughs> above the eye. Eyebrow. <laughs> A portable <laughs> computer. Laptop. A black bird. Crow. Um, a sport using uh, on snow with only one object beneath you. Ice hockey. <laughs> when a man <laughs> loves a woman. Divorce is a woman he is called a divorcee. When ladies. <laughs> Come on, man. You're wasting time. I'm so it's time. Right, it's time's, the time's up. We're going right, to keep doing it. I'm trying to win $10,000 here. <laughs> Is that what you think it's at stake? Yeah. <laughs> Where are we? You said when Where a man when, loves a when, woman. When ladies. <laughs> Andy Garcia. <laughs> when ladies what? Play the equivalent of baseball. Pinch hitter. Wow. <laughs> lesbian. A, a, a lesbian. A type of. <laughs> Mm. Uh, a type of uh, entertainment that involves stripper. <laughs> uh, the main, the main ingredient in chocolate, cocoa, hot chocolate. There you go. Uh, something that when your dog pees on the floor. Accident. Okay, so that's enough, I guess. Um, oh, well, I don't think I was that far off on these, but the, the, he only one time he gave me, um, like, he, he, only one, only one time he said, "Good," you know, indirectly he said, "Good job." He's like, "Yeah, that was the only one," but there was like fifteen. How many? How many did I miss? You got four out of fifteen. Are you kidding me? Let's go through these. That, that's bull crap. That's bull crap. How did I get four of fifteen? Uh, what's a sport under under a layer of ice? Hockey. He didn't say ice. 
carpet. Look, you didn't get it right. Who cares? Well, I want to know the answers. That's what that's what the folks want to know. Okay. It has four <laughs> legs, whatever. Dog. Barks, barks. Right. It's the last, I would say, basketball game of the of the year. Championship. Uh, NBA Finals. Um, a monument <laughs> in Philadelphia. Lincoln Monument. No, that's not there. It's a it's a Liberty Bell. Uh, hair, hair found above the eyes. He said eyebrow. It's eyelash. So that that was close. That's bull crap. That's, that's close. I mean, Whatever. well, it's it's all in how you. You go, this. Jim Perry. Whatever. Um, a portable. He said laptop. A black. He said a bird. Crow. A sport. You know, in the in the snow, a snowboarding with the one thing underneath you. You're using stuff that had multiple words. Snowboarding is multiple words. In the sh- in twisters, they only use one word. When a like man, couch. When a man is no longer married, ex husband. I would say divorced. Okay, well, these are. What know, did you have? I, all I had is when a man, dot, 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 and then it's up to Matt to come up with a second To part help of guide you. So, yeah. I, but, but, so you don't have an answer? There, there, no, there is was, an answer. I'll, which was what? Ex husband. That's two words. All these were just one word. Snowboarding is one word. Ex husband is one word. I'm throwing these fries at you. <laughs> Throw them into my mouth. <laughs> why this did, is bull crap. Why didn't this work, Weisenheimer? Why didn't what were are we on turbulence? Yeah. I don't understand why it didn't work. Okay. I enjoyed it. I will admit, Matt, because yep. you shake your structure hoodie in, in in disagreement. But the rules were a little intense at first, but every game show has a bunch of rules at the beginning that they have to show the viewers. I say there was no turbulence except for Mimi not wearing a bra. You think that was turbulence? I, I feel like that's something you would enjoy. No, because they were pointy. Oh, those or, 19- 1970s pointy <clears throat> boobs? And they, were, 80s, and they 80s were halfway down her chestal area. So low-hanging fruit? Oh, very low. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, uh, uh, Matt what, what would you do to Matt, I'm going to ask you, what did you think of what was turbulence <laughs> on this show? I want to see day one. They showed us day three, right? I don't think so. I think they acted. No. I think they acted as if it was, it was day three. I think that's a perfect word for it. So you don't think I so? think you don't it think was so, it was rank with acting well, as well. Well, if this wasn't the, if this was not day one, then what we're doing is not the. It doesn't meet the requirements of Couch Pilots. No, you. It was day. It was day one of shooting. Day one of filming. But they were yes. acting but like it was day. No, three. they 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 had two full days of playing this game so the competitors could get used to it and knew what was going on because they knew their numbers. They knew they knew everything, and they, they knew all the rules instantly. So they recorded on Monday. They recorded on Tuesday. No, they didn't. They didn't record on Monday. They didn't record on Tuesday. And Wednesday, they pulled record on the camera, and th- these people were already in the flow of this game. And the audience is just sitting there going... Fucking ballistic. They were going crazy. They thought it was the greatest thing ever. First of all, it was a clap track. Second of all... I'm bringing claps back. <laughs> Just like the Lakers. <laughs> that is what I was going to say. Second of all, no. If you're the audience, you're only, or, or folks watching it on TV, you're getting one shot at learning these rules. But that's uh, that's going to happen no matter what game show you watch. The, First impressions. The, 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 the studio audience is coming in different every day. You're not going to have a studio audience come in on Monday... Tuesday and then Wednesday. Every day it's going to be different studio audience because you're you're getting tickets, free tickets. You're giving free tickets. You're in Hollywood. We're bringing those you know people through. Yep. So yes, did the did the audience have a little problem catching up at the beginning? Yes. Give it ten minutes. You know what's going on. I'm going to say that this show was wildly confusing for no. not a lot of payoff. Um, no. Also, where was the twisting? Yeah, well, yeah. Where, who who, who got twisted in there? They were, <laughs> they were twisting the words. They were they were kind of like, you know, they were rhymes. taking the questions and, and and kind of twisting it one way to another to kind Cause, of because they were tongue twisters. Some of them were tongue twisters. <sighs> That's a reach for me. I'm gonna but... throw these fucking cold fries at you guys. <laughs> That's enough beer. Okay, <laughs> you've had enough. I'm I'm cutting you off right here. Right. The the shuffleboard. I'm sorry. I'm stepping on you. The shuffleboard had no twisting to it. The uh, the the tearing of the contestants the had no twisting phrase. to it. The turn of phrase was there was twisting of the turn of phrase. I'll, I'll give you that. Sure, I'll give you that a little bit. It, it kind of 
you think the question's going to go one way, but then they kind of finish it off a different Oftentimes, way. Oftentimes. I like, needed yeah. Jim Carrey to really spell that out for me. <laughs> I just feel like um, this set is very uh, finite, and there's not a lot of different ways you can go, and it's not interesting. Like, you know what I think of a good game? I think of like, a, uh, what's it, Price is Right. Minute to Win It. A minute to Win It. Price is right, you go up there, and they have all these different games. Things have changed over the air, things they've fine-tuned, but it's always something different. With this, you're just you're beating down the same thing over and over. It feels, there's a lot of action, but it feels laborious. Big bucks, no whammies. Was that not the same thing over and over again? I didn't say that was a good show. Oh, I'm so mad right now. God, I'm so mad. Why don't you throw some fries at me? You keep threatening, <laughs> and why don't you make it about to happen? No, 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 I want them thrown at me. <laughs> I'm not going to waste them. What do you think that box is going to sound like when you crinkle that up by the mic? Probably like that. <laughs> Matt, you're here at our bottom. Thank you. Um, <laughs> let's. Uh, what, what do we got next? I'm here for the bottoms. <laughs> Me too, Matt. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as we start our descent, please make sure your seat backs and tray tables are in their full upright position. I'm so mad at you guys. I've never been so mad on this flight. Yeah. Last week was the most <laughs> joyous episode ever. Mm-hmm. I, I cried. I was so... It was just amazing. You cried because you stubbed your toe. No, I cried because of the joyous news. This episode, I wanted to punch you both. And I love both of you. But I, right now, I, I would punch you in the face if I wasn't eating cold fries. Right, right. That makes There's sense. There's balance to your life. Yeah. I need... It, you know what? If I had some structure, I would. <laughs> I only have one of these. You're the only person that has one. You have, the, right. you have the last structure shirt. <laughs> <laughs> look how well it's held up. Oh, you look great. Mm. Was, uh, you have a uh, you have wizard sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't make that comment. But <laughs> there's a look like wizard sleeves. <laughs> I keep waiting for him to just pull an endless amount of colored uh, handkerchiefs out of that. I don't, I don't think they prefer to be called colored. Um, <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes score, nothing. Gosh. IMDb score. Nothing. Uh-uh. Nope. No critic reviews. No, no viewer reviews. There's no chance. This is surprising to me. Some of these I get. Some of these make sense to why no one's talking about them. But there is an entire television channel called the Game Show Network. Which well, this was on because the logo is at the bottom of it. And, uh, okay, I was just So it say, aired. It had to have aired. Okay, well, I, 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 yeah, I believe that there probably is a block of programming where they play these one-off pilots like that we talk about. And the Game Show Network, of course, is going to say, is that even around anymore, the Game Show Network? Is that still around? I don't have cable. Okay, I, I don't know. I, I, you say no. I, I don't know. I don't have okay. cable either. Okay. But. Um, Cut the cord, right, Matt? He's a cord cutter. We we cut our cords. Congratulations. He's got the NBA network, though. (laughs) Right? He streams the 2002 Western Conference Finals. (laughs) Right, over and over and over again. (laughs) And just has the camera angle on the referees. Yeah, we only have to pay 40 bucks a month for that. (laughs) And it only shows the referees, though. It's only the referees, yeah. (laughs) It's not surprising to me, or it is surprising, rather, that this has no ratings. It probably gets... Uh, not some, but it's it maybe aired once a yeah. year on the Game Show Network. It's around. People can see this. We saw it. But uh, now we'll rate it. Sounds good to me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to FCI Airport. Local time is 11-11 and the temperature is 65 degrees. For your safety and comfort, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the captains turn off the fastened seatbelt sign. I don't ever want to turn off the fast and seatbelt sign. If you're up to me, we would be here together forever. And I would enjoy that. I would not complain at all. As long as you got a steady intake of chicken sandwiches and french fries. Thank you, package boy. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, thank you. Thank you, baggage boy. Just think think how worse (laughs) this would be if I didn't have that, right? Guys, come on. You both know me. It would have been a lot worse if I wouldn't have had that. You've treated all the listeners at home to you, uh, crinkling bags. You know what? The seven people either love me or hate me. Your mastication, that's right. Um, one mastication? To... Yeah. Isn't it? That's weird. You masticated right in the mic. Not, not in front of Matt. <laughs> I have some standards and morals. 
<laughs> Come on, let's do this. You, no, you do it, wise let's guy. Let's rate this son no, of a you bitch. Do it. Do it. Um, <clears throat> this is the part of the show where we give our ratings on this pilot. Um, our rating system is a uh, one through seven. Uh, one being the worst, which is a Roy Biggins. Seven being the best, which is Brian Hackett. And this is based off of the. Go ahead and write down. I screwed something up. I was writing down oh. Roy Biggins. Would you just fucking do it? <laughs> the, the 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 sitcom classic Wings. All right, that's how we do it. Um, if you want to know what all of the numbers are with the characters, then why don't you tweet Kev Mo Slice? He knew him. Holy crow! Did he ever know him? So uh, Matt, you are our guest. You have been on this show four to five times. We don't know specifically. <laughs> why don't you give us our rate your rating of the game show from? 19 add 9089. What is your twister? I'm going to be short and sweet. <laughs> any any game show that assumes that I know what baked Alaska is. Oh, yeah, that was something, wasn't it? <clears throat> yeah. And he acted like all. I think I think different decades have pop like like fondue, you know, like ooh, the 1970s fondue. I think baked Alaska was that, kind of so of that, that was time. a thing. I probably so. What are you shaking your head about? I'll, I'm, I'm not going to interrupt his rating. I'll let you know after his rating. Well, I'm going to need yeah, you yeah, to because I, I need to, a reminder what the second. What's it, a two? What What's the two? What? Roy Biggins is a one. Two is a Fayetten. This is a solid Fayetten for me. You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me, Matt. You're an intelligent guy. I look up to you. I'm also an optimist. I found this... I'm going to drown myself this was in a Bush, pool. This was Bush League. All right. That's fine. Jason, um, you watched the pilot game show Twisters. I have to be honest. I did not watch it. What is your rating? <laughs> um, uh, I'm kind of stuck at a three and a half. I think I'm going to go four. And I tell you why. There's like I said, the set is very limited. There's not a lot there. The set is huge. So you want to let Matt talk and give his rating, but you don't want to do extend the same courtesy to me. He's a gentleman, but I'm a scholar. <laughs> In your own mind, together we're In my what? unstoppable. In your own mind. In your own mind. Thanks right. for pointing at your head. <laughs> uh, He's so mad at me, Matt. He is so mad at me. There's right now. there's too much stuff going on in this concentrated little area. There's too many things in play. <clears throat> I think um, some of the elements, like the shuffleboard landing on the people and the questions is fine, but then when you have the numbers counting down in these instant plays, there's too much in this concentrated little thing. Space it up. Ha- have maybe a, 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 like, like a little set piece over here or a little set piece over there. Break up the action a little bit with something different. It, it, it's just it's too many rules and things on, on this one tiny little area of play. Spread it out a little bit. Take nods from other shows like The Price is Right that have all these different games that come in and out. That's fun. That's interesting. The variety is the spice of life. I give it a four. I have no regrets. Captain Philip Resser, I turn to you. How do you rate Twasters? I'm going to guess a fucking seven. <laughs> Prior, uh, I have uh, Ken Slice was on last week. He gave it a five, which is higher than yours. Oh, yeah. And, he get, yeah that's right. and which is higher than yours is too, Matt. Yeah, it's like laps mine. Right. Uh, where did you graduate from college, Matt? The University of Illinois. The University of Illinois. Okay. Uh, Jason, where did you graduate from college? The College of Central Illinois. Okay. Kemo Slice graduated from the uh, comedy Interprov place. Interprov? Second U- City. UCB. No, Second City. All right. He gave it a five. My wife. Where, where did you, okay. Hi. My wife. Where, where did she graduate? My wife? Mm-hmm. Uh, School of Hard Knocks. Okay. She gave it a six. All right? She enjoyed it very much. A seven is the highest rating you can give it. Right. And Blake, where did you graduate again? Uh, I did not graduate from any college. Not even the school of hard knocks? <clears throat> nope. Okay. I graduated from the college of Poontang. <laughs> Poontang. Poontang U, huh? Poontang, Poontang U? <laughs> yeah. The Poontang U. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm given. This game show. Don't do it. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Don't do it. 
I'm giving it a seven. No, son of a bitch bastard. <laughs> A Roy, a Roy I, Biggins. I don't know what the hell you guys, everything you said, both of you guys said, I was trying to be a gentleman, a scholar. You were doing neither. And a douchebag. <laughs> and Success. So, and listen to you guys ramble on about the stupidest thing. The set was huge. Uh, yes, it was only two colors. But uh, it, it, the, the show kept going like it was, it was constantly going. Uh, if you give it five, ten minutes, you figure out what the hell is going on. Uh, D was horrible. That's the only problem with this whole thing. I'm giving it a seven. I had a great time. To be honest with you, of all the questions that were asked, I missed three. So you knew most of them. I would have been a $10 million split winner, <laughs> baby. Did you give it a baked Alaska bump? I gave it a base. <laughs> uh, yes, seven. I give it a seven. If, you're gonna, if you've ever listened to this show... Mm-hmm. Almost 140 episodes, and you've you've never watched one of the programs. Watch Twister. This is great. I love game shows. I'm the winner. Push <laughs> that button, smash it, because I got stuff to say. Boy, I couldn't disagree with you more. And with that, we close <laughs> the book on Twisters, and we will never speak of that show. Again. Oh yes, we will, because I'll bring it up every goddamn episode. <laughs> I'll, I'll edit that right out. Uh, and uh, here's uh, join us next time when we watch the pilot episode of Archie. Here's a little something to wet your whistle. Sitcom about comic strip character Archie. You can find the entire episode by subscribing to Couch Pilots and Apple Podcasts or your favorite podcast app of choice, and then simply click on one of our classically blue links in our show notes or go to YouTube. And- <laughs> Thank God it's YouTube. It works so much easier for Thank me. Thank God it's YouTube. Thank God it's YouTube. Man, you doing now? Thank God it's YouTube. Oh, he was like yeah. the he was like yeah. the Danzig yeah. version. Yeah. That was great. He, he, Matt is is like Glenn oh, Danzig in a if, variety if of ways. If you look, if you look at Matt, you think Glenn Danzig. <laughs> Glenn Danzig. <laughs> Misfits. Glenn Danzig. Satan. God smack. Um, yes. Yeah, Corn with a K. <laughs> yeah. Backwards. A million. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a swimming pool with uh, movie stars. viscous blood and movie yeah. stars. That's right. A, no, a million? <laughs> <laughs> that's his Glenn Danzig. Uh, that's his Carl impression for Danzig. But Dan- it's laughing. <laughs> He's having fun. And you know what? You can, too, every week here on Couch Pilots. If you just go to couchpilotspodcast.com, the one website to end them all, right? Just like Lord of the Rings. I said, put on this ring. And we'll have one ring to rule. This is the podcast website to rule them all. It's the one-stop shop. Mm-hmm. Great, great phrase. Great turnabout phrase. Yeah. Um, all of our social media, all of our past episodes, throw in keywords in the search engine. You can email us. Everything you need to know is right on that website. Um, go there. Get some frequent flyer points. Yeah. Uh, Matt, that's the whole reason you're on this plane right now. It really is. Cash them in. Cha-ching. 910 <clears throat> Pilots 1. Give us a call. We'll play on. You heard... Uh, uh, Lori Garcia drone on for what seemed like 20 minutes earlier, right? Well, guess what? That could be your dumb voice on the show. She had a lot on her mind. <laughs> she got it all out. Can you imagine if she didn't get it all out? <laughs> She'd explode. I love that lady. She's great. 910-745-6871. Call us any time of the day, usually around 3.15 in the morning. That's about the best time you're going to do it. Um, and finally, Patreon. That's Patreon. a website, right? Yeah, patreon.com slash couchpilots. Uh, we have four different tiers. Uh, wow. we- Tears, wah. Not, that's not a very good baby. Wah. No, it's you're doing horrible. Uh, oh. <clears throat> we have four different uh, tiers uh, of prizes. If you donate, uh, you don't have to donate every month. You just donate that that month for that amount. Uh, we have to where you get a signed uh, autographed poster. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is a special episode waiting for you right now that only you, an exclusive episode where only you can hear. Um, we also have where we'll spend uh, an hour with you on Skype to talk either about life, love, or just shoot the shit with you. So check out patreon.com slash couch pilots. And uh, yeah, like I said, you don't if it's a $20 donation, you don't have to do it every month. Just that one $20 donation is great. And, and thanks to all our Patreon supporters. Absolutely. Thanks to everyone that's currently doing it. And I, w- I will say, too, that... We've um, actually had more money donated to us from other countries than we have our own United States of America, and I blame Trump. I also blame Trump for a variety of things, including my VD. I will say that um, uh, if you are if you su- uh, subscribe to the top tier and then uh, Patreon, you will, you will be granted 
a bonus five million frequent flyer points. Yeah, too. That's something exactly. That's something that we've added recently. Um, Matt, thank you so much for being on the yes. show for what a, a pleasure. fourth to eighth time. It's undetermined <laughs> how many times you've been here. Let's uh, just go with that. I, a lot of fun. Always yeah, appreciate you guys Matt, having me on. I, I do enjoy having you Absolutely. on the episodes you come in on. You give a lot of insight. Mm. And also, 2002, fuck the Lakers, right? <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. I need to leave with that. Yeah, well, it really he did. He can't say it himself. I'm going to say it for him. Yeah, it's very cathartic when Blake says it for do me. Do you want me to record it on your voicemail? Or You mean like... That'd, it, be, that'd it, be really smart. You, you mean it's when someone calls me that that's what they get? <laughs> no. It, 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 just I'll I'll call you. Hello, this is Matthew. Please leave no, no, a no, message. No, it would just the Lakers. Fuck the Rick. No, it would only say fuck the Lakers. Beep. <laughs> that's all it would be. No, it would be. But it'd be Blake's voice. It would be. Thank you for calling Matt's phone. Two thousand two. Fuck the Lakers. Leave a message at the tone. That's Weep. very professional. Bing bong. Bing bong, bitches. I could see that as a work line. Maybe not my personal. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, that's smart. It's better um, than that. Dun, 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 dun. Please hold while your party is reached. Yeah. The Lakers. Do you have anything you want to plug while you're here, uh, Matt? Should I? Um, uh, 2020, maybe? Matt Libs? Oh, goodness. Yeah, this is really marinating. Uh, but that's how, you know, um, can't rush it. But can't hurry love, right? You really can't. You'll just have to wait. We'll have to wait to see what all comes out of this. But um it's brewing. There's a lot there's a lot there to work with. Blake, anything you want to plug here? No, not really. A- any message of positivity you'd like to send out? Have tons of messages of positivity. Uh pods of tit <clears throat> pods of <laughs> Easy buddy. Pods of <laughs> I'll say it for you. Watch what you pods of titties. <laughs> Watch what you call them, buddy. <laughs> um I, I, I want to bring joy. In 2018, uh, I'm podcasting for fun, but I'm every episode I'm bringing uh, a message of positivity. Mm-hmm. Um, last week we had the, the gift of life. Oh, amen to that. Right? Um, but this week, um, the kids that you do have already that aren't in your wife's belly, just go ahead and pat them on the head. Give them a kiss on the forehead and say, I love you, big guy, or I love you. Darling, and, hold on. Say that again. <clears throat> what, what you say? The, the kids that aren't in the belly. Yeah. <laughs> what, oh, okay. Say, yeah. I'm sorry. Say that Why? again. Why? It was not screwed up at all. Matt, did you understand what I was saying? Mm. Mm. <laughs> no. You know what? Mm, Twister, you buddy, is a seven. <laughs> if <laughs> for the children <laughs> that are, not I'm just trying to understand. <laughs> for the children, <laughs> I'm just. I'm just you guys, you guys made me look like such a dumbass. No, I'm, I'm just trying to understand. I didn't catch that. Maybe everybody was, else listened to this. For the children, Jay. Everybody else that heard this, for those children who are not in the mama's belly right now, that are now, not in utero. Okay. You know what? That album was not really that good. To be honest <laughs> with you. So okay, so we're talking. Did about- he kill himself or did his wife kill him? Matt, your thoughts. Are we talking about dancing? Yeah, we're talking about Glenn dancing. <laughs> no, we're talking, about, talking about Kurt Cobain. Did he kill himself or did his wife kill him? In utero? <laughs> you know what? Hug your kids. Tell them you love them. Kiss them on the forehead. Let's let's no. Let's agree. No. I'm not agreeing <laughs> on to what nothing. we're discussing. I was just saying. Let's agree that. <laughs> yeah, let's agree on what we're discussing. That calling your babies that aren't in your belly is a weird way to say your your children <laughs> that are alive. That is that really threw me for a loop there. Can we agree that that's a bizarre way to say no, it? No, <laughs> not at all. Blake will not agree to that. And I will not agree to that. Uh, please agree to those terms. And folks, I, I love you guys. Thank you for listening. You know what? McDonald's, North Pekin, love you. What a ride. Oh, boy. This um... this pilot may have been rough, but it's always a smooth flight. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Jeez. On behalf of Couch Pilots and the entire crew, we'd like to thank you for joining us on this trip. We are looking forward to seeing you on board again in the near future. Have a nice day. Boom. Ba-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-